Well, first of all, uh, a very, very good morning to you all. Um, and uh, Chris, sorry about this, but Scotland is in the United Kingdom. Just, yeah, they decided to stay. <laughs> Just a matter of interest. I thought you'd like to know that a little bit. Um, so uh, my part, obviously, this morning is to the keynote uh, speech. I'm going to put my glasses on because I've got some supportive notes. Just a matter of interest, I thought I'd just do a little check. This is my first time to Baltimore, so it's, it's a great uh, day for me today. So I just thought I'd check a, a little few facts about uh, Baltimore and Maryland. And just so you know, uh, the state sport is jousting. I don't you know that, by the way. Um, being a Red Sox fan, uh, Babe Ruth was born here. I think most people know that anyway. Uh, slushes were invented here, uh, just a matter of interest, you know, the snow, snowballs and things like that. And uh, Doc Holliday, the famous uh, gunslinger, actually went to uh, dental college in uh, Baltimore as well. So I'm sure you wanted to know all those things. You've gone away with a bit of, uh, a bit of news. So my part really, first of all, thank you very much indeed um, uh, from Jack's uh, uh, introduction to me. Um, some of you know me from uh, last year. Uh, Chris was just going to give me a bit of a background of who I am. Uh, I'm English, just a matter of interest if you didn't know. Um, and I'm brought up in the Midlands in, in the UK. Uh, and I think it's uh, only a bit of background from me. I'm a, an, a, 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 I started my career as an apprentice uh, eating engineer, uh, and I was an installer, for want of a better word. That's where I started my career. And then I went through various areas, but basically I followed a dream uh, in, in the UK in a particular type of heating technology. Uh, and I want to make this comment because I think this is very important. Jack knows this story as well very well is that was a niche market. Uh, so back in the early 70s, mid 70s, it was less than 1%. In fact, it was less than 0.1%. It now is 80% of the UK market. So I followed that dream. And uh, when I came to the United States to, uh, with Bosch, because we sold our company to Bosch in 1992, uh, the important part that I had was that uh, the reason I, uh, we sold our company to Bosch, we wanted to, to thrive and grow further, which it in, 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 in it did. Uh, but when I came here to the United States, I, I saw geothermal. And uh, geothermal to me is, well, first of all, uh, I saw it in its intensity in the United States, but I'd already become a convert because I have geothermal in my own home in the UK, uh, which now I'm in my eighth or ninth season. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that uh, later on. So, Chris, you're going to say a few words. Those are uh, a little bit of background. That's a bit of a background. Um, but first of all, uh, as I said to you, it's a great opportunity to address this audience second time around, uh, particularly, and it's already been mentioned uh, earlier um, by the Dean, is, is particularly uh, that you are the professional uh, geothermal people. And, uh, and it's, firstly, thank you for your time, because you're going to sit there now for about two hours twenty while I just go through a few facts that have been put together. <laughs> only joking, only joking. Um, as I've already mentioned, I'm a geo man because I own my own property. Uh, I'm a believer, uh, and I think this is a very important thing. Uh, and uh, Bosch, uh, my company, or sorry, I wish it was my company, I'm a member of that company, is a, a very strong supporter of uh, geothermal and, that co and technologies, and a supporter, obviously, of Ishba is absolutely imperative. Uh, the work it does and the achievements to date have been the foundation for the future. Uh, and I haven't got this in my notes, but I want to make a little comment after Bob's uh, presentation uh, and also Chris's. Uh, we've got something like 3,500 installers. To achieve 30,000, we need 30 to 40,000 installers. It will not be done by 3,500 installers. And if there was any vision, it's... Oh, it's okay? Sorry about that. I'll lift. Sorry, Jack was on me before, so there we are. <laughs> Is it okay? Sound check? Okay. Uh, I just want to make a comment, and I'll re go back to the one point I want to make. For the industry to go towards 30%, we need over 30,000 installing companies. So if it's a vision, it's not just the percentage of uh, installs, it's the amount of trained, good quality installers installing geo, and the support in the infrastructure, the drillers, etc., that goes into our industry. And uh, I'm going to give the installers a very big boost because at the end of the day, without them, there's none of us as manufacturers because they're in the front with the customer and the consumer of the future. Uh, as I stated last year, um, uh, we have a total belief uh, in, in, in the future with GEO. 
uh, and as the most efficient and exhaustible uh, carbon-free form of energy derived from, obviously, the sun's rays, even though, as we know, today we've not put the sun rays outside. And another little interest, in fact, by the way, for uh, Baltimore, the first umbrellas were produced here in America in 1840. So you might need one a little bit later on today. Uh, it's a good business to be in. I think that's the important thing uh, for, for, for the future. It's clean and it's uh, uh, efficient. It's a quiet technology and it doesn't degrade the environment. And I think one of the unsung parts about geo, because as I said, I live with it, it gives you comfort. And at the end of the day, if I'm a consumer, it's comfort which comes to me with my pocket for the future of what's in my own property. And for all the states suffering water deprivation in the commercial application, it saves dramatically, as we know, on water as well. It makes everybody involved from the producer, the supplier, the dealer, and the accredited installer, and I emphasize that again, to the consumer. Um, hence the message, uh, expanding, uh, we need obviously a much uh, a greater effort to engage in practical, sustainable practices that benefit our environment and make the world green for our children. And I'm going to mention two or three times, it's the children who will change our future. Uh, our, um, our generation, we've not done a very good job. And uh, therefore, it's our children that will make those changes for the future, will, which will give sustainability in the longer term. At Bosch Worldwide, we're aware of our actions must be in harmony and uh, with the economic and ecological needs and also reflect our responsibility uh, for the human community, especially, and I want to emphasise this, the view, and I've already mentioned it, the future generations. What kind of world are we going to leave them with? And that's, if anyone message, that's what we've really got to drive home as we go forward with geothermal. Despite the ongoing debate about climate change and impact, there is no denying what we're witnessing. And I think if we look around us, past summer was the hottest on record uh, since 1880, just as a matter of interest. Uh, we keep pumping away at carbon dioxide into our atmosphere. And as we know, we're seeing the CO2 levels raise in parts per million significantly over the last uh, years, and particularly again, it increased in 2013. It's, uh, if we don't think human activity is affecting our climate, just look at what's happening around us. The weather appears to be occurring everywhere. People are paying attention. Now, I think we have a wake up in, in our, not just in the US, but around the world. And it's time now that we have to make that change. Look at people's climate marches that we've just seen, by the way, in, in New York. And uh, I was interested to see that one of the banners actually re re read there is no planet B. Oh, you know, we watch all these films on TV, but there is no planet D B. We've got to protect our own environment. Paying attention to human health, safety, boosting economic use of resources, maintaining the integrity of the environment are key corporate parts of our company within Bosch. And that, this is one of the reasons we need and have to embrace renewable technologies like geothermal. And that's why we're here. Since we're talking about geothermal, especially, let's take a moment for, and I'm going to do a bit of a reality check, and uh, we saw Jack do this a few minutes. I'd just like to see how many people have geothermal in their own home. Please put your hands up. Now, if we can ask the, uh, the advisory uh, to turn, look around. Keep your hands up, guys, guys and ladies, before I ask you a question. If you look around, that's around about 30% by the way. So if that was practiced and preached throughout the US, we'd achieve our goal. By the way, for those who didn't put your hands up, please come on the booths. There's 58 of them and be converted or purchase. That would be even better. Um, as we predicted last year, uh, the new path uh, for geothermal uh, acceptance in North America is, is now here. And again, to use the words very much for the time is now. This is the moment we have a chance to make that change. Uh, I saw, the, the, again, the slide on housing. The economy now is, is starting to move. New homes are over a million, again, back in, in, in the US, which is uh, a, a great stuff. With build, builder owners, uh, property developers, OMA warming to the benefits of geothermal. And we're seeing this through all the various articles in trade press and consumer press. It's being embraced, but we need more pace and speed. 
And of course, we have to remember last winter spike in energy prices, especially as we saw with particular fuels like propane, we saw dramatic hikes in prices. And at the end of the day, a consumer is looking for comfort as well as the safety of their wallet. And I think that's a, a very important point. I also said that Bosch was committed to advancing geothermal in the marketplace, and we pursued that goals. We're advancing our practice uh, to combine geothermal with solar, and I'm going to show you a little bit about that in a minute in a renewable energy system, and an immediate path to achieve this lovely word called net zero. In other words, where you sit there and you, in reality, don't have a utility bill, which must be a wonderful experience. We in our own company have partnered with other Bosch divisions, can give a complete offer. So if you look at on, on our online, you'll see what we're endeavoring to do. And we're bringing together not just our heat pumps, we're bringing together our domestic hot water, uh, kitchen appliances, security systems, and even our vehicle charging systems. In other words, giving a complete uh, one package from a trusted global partner. That's who we are in our company. And we will intend to increase that. We've also seen that our heat pumps adopted in geothermal applications across building spectrum, and this is the exciting part, museums, municipal and public buildings, we're seeing daycare centres, new apartment, residential developments, community centres, and of course net zero office buildings. And I think round as we see these now, there is the and going up that we have this opportunity. And in schools and universities such as Lady Bird Johnson Middle School in uh, Irvine, Texas, which is the nation's or one of the nation's largest <coughs> schools in net zero. And what we're going to do, hopefully, if I press the right button, if I don't, we'll have somebody come up and we're going to show you a little film if we can. Labor Johnson Middle School is a public middle school that serves 1,026 students in grades 6 through 8. Irving ISD has always had a very supportive board and community, and when our population pressure dictated uh, the addition of a new middle school, they wanted to build something that would uh, be a little bit different and add something, not just for the kids that go to the school, but also for the community and the world. Lady Bird Johnson is a LEED Gold Certified Middle School. Uh, that means that it is a net zero school and produces and conserves as much energy as we consume. To achieve net zero at this location, we employ geothermal heat pumps, solar uh, panels on the roof, a, a total of 600 kW solar panels, LED lighting, and wind turbines. The energy use at this facility is 17 kBTUs a square foot. The average middle school in Texas operates at 54 kBTUs a square foot. This reduced the energy consumption from over $200,000 a year to $60,000 a year. On this project, we have uh, 10 bore fields uh, consisting of a total of 530 250 foot geothermal wells. The 10 bore fields uh, accommodate approximately 590 tons of air conditioning. There is a total of 50 miles of one inch pipe uh, represents the geothermal heat exchanger. What's special about teaching here at Lady Bird Johnson is that we are teaching our students about a sustainable environment and giving them information they can share with generations so that they can leave a legacy. The students learn that they are part of a bigger picture. They learn how to connect with their environment. Lady Bird Johnson is special um, because of the amount of technology that we use. Our technological systems here at Lady Bird Johnson are their geothermal wells, solar panels, and wind turbines. Being in the school makes me feel like I have a bigger responsibility to go out into the world and to share with other people what I've learned and what I've experienced. And it makes me want to be a better role model for my brothers that I have. Lady Bird Johnson has a very small carbon footprint and that's important to me because we save our energy and we make energy. Our Florida heat pump product consists of half tons all the way up to 60 tons uh, in both water to air units and also in water to water units. Texas Air's part of the project was when IEG identified the loads of the building, we helped select the best units that would fit the uh, purpose and efficiency for reaching the net zero design. For this particular project, we manufactured uh, a variety range of units. We utilized our ES single stage unit throughout the installation process throughout the school. It was a good match for the school district and the project from the standpoint that it utilizes both an IEG uh, pump module system 
and it also uh, utilizes ECM motors that provide better efficiency. Bosch's role in the geothermal industry is also um, uh, beyond geothermal, it also includes solar. Uh, this is a fine example of an application where both geo and solar have been utilized to provide a net zero footprint. Lady Bird Johnson Middle School and the things that we do with Net Zero are a great hook for our students to help them see why it's important to learn the things that they learn. It's also a source of inspiration for our community uh, to see a, a point of pride like this uh, in, in our, our city. Uh, additionally, I think that the Net Zero concepts that are here at Lady Bird have been a source of inspiration as other school districts, cities, states and countries visit to learn about the concepts of conservation and power creation. Yeah. I'd just like uh, just to make a comment, so two comments really. Number one, I made it at the very start. So notice the uh, passion of the children, knowing what they're talking about with regard to the changes that can be made and the push that can actually change our future. My second point really is uh, one of our members actually did the designing of the engineer there, which is Don Penn, and a round of applause I think would be very greatly uh, received to Don. Um, taking on there that uh, I've already mentioned that uh, we believe by providing a comfortable learning environment while reducing energy costs, and Don, if I remember rightly, uh, there's another important point here that you actually released, I think, around about $150,000 back into the purse that can be used for the children. So by reducing the utility costs, that means the revenue is used year after year back into the school for the children. So it's an added bonus in reality, not just to the comfort of the environment, but what can actually be done with the money that can go back to providing children further services. And while reducing energy costs, raising awareness of sustainable energies, teachers and staff can focus, as we've already seen, on education and enlightening our young people. And I just, again, I'm, I'm, I'm so, uh, I, I was so impressed with the assistant principal there, the way he spoke as a matter of interest. I thought, uh, when at the end of the day, there was no actors. They were all the people who made it happen in reality. To reach the public at large, we have to conduct a nation consumer education outreach program telling the story of geothermal benefits through newspapers, columns, social media, online. These are consumer initiatives we want to connect the Bosch brand and geothermal awareness. But we also see that these efforts is raising the boats in our industry because all of us, partners and competitors alike, have a stake, and it's already mentioned, we all have to be of one voice to the market. We're making progress, but despite all this, there's a lot more to be done. If we are not yet at 30% by any means, and we have to have the reality check, we're only just over 1% market share of the HVAC market. There's a long way to go. That's the reason I mentioned the story of a change in my own country in the UK. It can be done, it can do be done, and we have to be the ones that make it happen in the future for our children. There remains a considerable task ahead of us to educate professionals, consumers on geothermal technology, how it's deployed, how it works, and why it's better for home energy budget and the environment. Because it's mostly underground and out of sight, geothermal technology requires more creative education. Um, ed efforts on our part, so the homeowner grasp the concept and adapt the infrastructure. It's not talking about the technology, it's what the technology brings to the consumer. All of us need to engage in that process to learn and adapt compelling sales strategies, to train our installation partners in best practice for installation drilling, and again, that famous word, infrastructure. I've heard it said recently that we need to get to the point in educating about geothermal so that the prospective owner reaction is, why would I not do this? In other words, it's not being sold as, well, geothermal is only if you've got a few more dollars. It's there. It should be a standard practice going into every property, whether it be in consumer or a commercial building. We also need to lend support to those in industry like ISHPA and the Geothermal Exchange. And I think it's great news to see all this coming together. And I really do, uh, if I can say, uh, the bringing together of all the associations with one voice will support our programme especially as we know uh, we're carrying the ball to make sure to extend the federal tax credit beyond 2016. 
and to make sure that geothermal heat pumps fall under the federal definition of clean, renewable energy equipment as called for in the Sheehan Portman, Portman Energy uh, Fission Bill before the Senate in the House. In other words, it's got to be pulled through uh, at the various ice level. We need to stay tuned to uh, similar efforts in geothermal recognition as clean, renewable at state level. Uh, as already mentioned, some 29 states and the District of Columbia are now renewable portfolios. Standards and efforts are underway to get heat pumps recognised in many, many of those states. New Hampshire, where I which is where I work from, and Maryland have already come on board with thermal renewable energy credits. And, and property assess clean energy commercial and residential and financing programmes, pace of states in motion. And by the way, Arizona is close. All these facts that I'm giving is maybe known by all of you already, and I think that one of the important things which I'd ask again Ishba to do, particularly through Jack and Bob, is I believe what would be good if some kind of booklet was put together so everybody has exactly the same information. So when we talk, we all talk with one voice. And just in, Ju in July, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts recognised geothermal as renewable, eligible for state incentives and credits, along with wind, which was mentioned also earlier, solar and, of course, biogas. Obviously, federal recognition is important to spur more states to recognise our geothermal. Extending the federal tax again beyond 2016 will result in progress of both state recognition and incentives. But it's some time we have to learn to live without a rebate. That's up to us to be able to get to that goal in the marketing concepts for the future. Uh, the the uh, Protection Agency ruling, Section 111D of the Clean Air Act, is perhaps the most significant energy and environmental policy in recent US history. The Clean Power Act, or sorry, the Clean Power Plan, is the first federal policy to limit carbon emissions from existing power plants. The EPA is allowing states to meet the state-specific <coughs> goals through a mix of strategies including energy efficiency, renewables and demand-side management. With all these facts coming through, the National Association of Re Re Regulatory U Utility Commissioners, as well as many state energy officials, have already indicated they plan to include energy efficiency in their overall strategies to meet carbon reduction targets. Again, I made the state same comment that all of us need to know these facts in a very simple and easy way. And of course, uh, going on to that, there has been a study uh, um, by Dr. Chow Bin Lu shows that the full implementation of geothermal heat pumps market penetration just in residential homes alone would give a reduction of 216, approaching 216 gigawatts, a 56% reduction in summer peak. Demand for spacing in single family homes. I think we all know these items, it's just getting that traction in that movement. Although maybe it's not feasible to attain 100% market penetration, hence, though I will make a comment, we got 80%. So there is a, believe it or not, it starts from small steps, which has already been said, that the types of energy reductions are rel a relative small investment over that period. We should also recognise the industry as an ally in the federal government. The Government Service Administration Directive, the GSP 100 mandates, that all new government buildings should consider use of ground source heat pumps. And again, the Western farmers, who I think are here today, which serves the customers in Oklahoma, Texas and Kansas, in, in New Mexico, recommends installing ground source heat pumps to improve efficiency and provide affordable electrical rates to customers. Companies are stepping up to adopt geothermal by 2020. We've seen such power, powerful um, uh, companies like IKEA committed to producing much more renewable energy towards its consumers in its operations. And we're seeing that moving into the stores. We believe, particularly as we move towards 2015, we will be even busier and better for our industry. We at Bosch firmly believe geothermal will become mainstream in the next decade, but we need those steps to get to it as these and many other initiatives propel geothermal into critical mass into the marketplace. Key information is education and over the last hundred years past and current generations have contributed to significant derogation of our environment, our Earth's climate has suffered and we know that because we live in it today. Despite our best efforts in reversing course of use of carbon uh, energy, it will take substantial Sorry, subsequent, do apologise, subsequent generations of young adults to step up 
and I'm sorry about being repetitive, it's the young people that will change our world for the future. We at Bosch are working and engaging in this process through Bosch Green Living Awards. We're encouraging young people from 2 to 16 to express their feelings about our environment through essays, photography and art. And I'm just going to show you a few examples of that because I'm very proud of what these youngsters have done. And what you can see on, on the screen here is the competition that we did here on our 2020, which is our Green Living Awards. And here are two youngsters on the left uh, from Rhode Island, on the right uh, uh, from Missouri. And uh, I love the one on the right-hand side, two to six years old. Uh, they get it. Uh, again, they understand it. And they're the ones who will actually promote it to they, their parents. But the winner came from Florida, and we're based in Florida. That, that, uh, this young lady here uh, from the Girls and Boys Club came up with this poster. Uh, with every step I take, I make the world a better place. Uh, and that connection to the ground, the sun, is what I think it's all about in the messaging. And I would implore everybody here, whether, whatever company they're in, is to find a way of communicating this kind of, through their company, in being able to get some movement and generation for the future. As I come to the very end of this uh, uh, presentation, uh, I would uh, finally, at, uh, we at Bosch, uh, commend of all of your efforts uh, and contributions to this growing and this critical industry. And when you're only, we'll say, one and a half percent of the market, you know it's such a wonderful world in front of us. Many of you are at the front lines working directly with customers and guiding them through the process. And I want to emphasize it's the accredited the installer who sits in front of most of what we call the residential consumer where the decision will be made. And so our efforts would, should be to support and help the installer as much as we possibly can. And the more industry partners we develop to offer geo customers and assist them on the first costs of loop infrastructure and utility tie-ins, the more momentum ge geothermal will enjoy. We all have a big stake in our industry. Uh, we believe in, in geo. The time is now. Uh, the reorganization of uh, ISPA is greatly received. Uh, and now, be, believe it or not, Bob, the hard work starts now. And beyond, on behalf of Bosch, thank you very much for listening to me for the last uh, 30 minutes. Have a great few days, and uh, thanks very much for giving me this opportunity.